Hello everyone, welcome back. Astrophotography, the art of taking pictures of the night sky, have come a long way. From the point where you had to have this expensive equipment to take pictures, to the point where you can take pictures like these using a smartphone. Yeah, you heard me right, using a smartphone. So this video is about me teaching you guys how to take a picture of the Milky Way using a smartphone. So let's get started. So before we get started, let me tell you the story on how I got into taking this picture in the first place. I told you guys in my previous videos that it's been raining here like crazy, right? You know that time when it's like it rains like very heavily and for a brief moment or so it clears up. Everything clears up and the sky is exceptionally clear. It was that night yesterday. I was really lazy to go outside because I didn't think that it would be very clear. I have seen the sky after a rain but I didn't expect this to be this clear so I went outside to take a look and I tell you my friends it was so clear and the Jupiter was there and I could see it like Venus it was that bright so as I stood there something weird started to happen mainly because my street light wasn't working it was pitch dark there and the night sky kind of brightened in a area that and it kept brightening the longer I stood there and before I knew it I was looking at the Milky Way galaxy that is our galaxy that I was looking a part of it in the sky and I was blown away that I woke up everyone in the family and showed them see guys this is the Milky Way the galaxy that we are part of they were surprised too to see something like this in the night sky they haven't seen anything like this in their lifetime and I was so proud that I had, I had an opportunity to show them this thing and I was moreover proud that I could see it myself. I didn't think I would be able to see such a thing from my, my location because this place is so light polluted that I don't even, I barely see stars in the sky and uh, the main reason why I saw this is because the street light wasn't working. And I was blown away, so I thought I might as well take a photo of it. As my phone didn't support long exposure photography, I took my brother's phone and I snapped this picture. But wait, how do we get to see the Milky Way if we are part of the Milky Way? We are in the galaxy, right? We are in the Milky Way galaxy. But then how do we get to see the Milky Way in the sky? That's a question that I get asked often when I show people the picture of the Milky Way. So you know we are in the outer edge of the Milky Way. So when we see the Milky Way in the sky, what we are seeing is a superimposed picture of everything else from our vantage point. You are seeing it as a superimposed band of light in the sky. That's how you see the Milky Way even though you are part of the Milky Way. It's like seeing your house, that is the building of your house, from outside your house, technically being inside the compound of your house. So coming to the point, how do you take photograph of the Milky Way? So first thing you have to make sure is to get a compatible device. So what I mean by a compatible device is a device that helps you control the exposure settings and helps you control the ISO. Most modern smartphones come with this setting in the form of a pro mode or a professional mode. So if you have a phone lying around that supports, that helps you to tweak the exposure settings that is this shutter time and the uh, ISO settings then you can take picture with it. Next thing that you have to do is to find a dark place. As I told in my case the street light wasn't working. That's the only reason why I saw the Milky Way in the first place. So if you are finding it hard to find a dark place you might have to move a bit from city location like go to a place where it's quite dark where civilization is less or you can rely on the power going off as as it was in my case. So the next thing that you have to do is to stabilize your phone. In my case I use my telescope as a makeshift tripod. You can see it here. You don't necessarily need a tripod to stabilize your phone. You can even stabilize your phone on a rock. Yeah a rock. The next step is to find Milky Way in the sky. This might sound a bit complicated to find Milky Way especially if you are a beginner but the thing is that you can find a lot of apps in the play store which are essentially star maps that you can use in your phone 
to find Milky Way. I'll leave a couple of links in the description. You can check them out. So if you are, if you have found the Milky Way, you should orient your phone in that direction. If you have oriented your phone in that direction, you can go to the next step. So the next step is to take the picture of the Milky Way. One tip that I would give you guys is to keep a timer before you take a picture. A three second timer would do. This lets you like gives you some time so that you don't ruin the picture by giving it an initial jerk or something. And if you have done all of this right, you should get a picture. And this picture, it might not be very good. You might have to tweak the ISO and exposure settings depending upon your location. And if you do that right, you would end up with fabulous pictures of Milky Way in no time. You can even call up your friends or neighbors to show them these pictures and show them Milky Way if, if it's visible in the sky. They would be amazed, I'm telling you. Share this video with someone who would find this video useful, especially the space nerds out there among your friends list. Share this video with them. So until next time, this is me, a striving amateur. Goodbye.